Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are inside of Affinity Publisher V2 and in today's tutorial we are going to take a look around the workspace for any of you guys that may be brand new to Affinity Publisher. So here we are inside of the Affinity Publisher workspace and this may look a little bit overwhelming for any of you guys that have never used Publisher before. However, it's not as complicated as it looks. Starting right here in the center, you can see that we have our canvas and this is where we are going to start putting our project together. So making our way over to the right hand side, this is where we are going to find all of the studio panels. And as you can see, we have different panels for different operations regarding our projects, such as maybe changing the color of a font or shape, as well as applying strokes, text styles, arranging layers or formatting your text. We can access any one of these studio panels just by simply clicking on the tabs to open them up. And it's worth mentioning that this is only a few of the studio panels that are available inside of Affinity Publisher. And some of them you may never use. However, to find all of the individual panels that we have available, all we have to do is make our way up to the top menu bar to where it says window. Then inside of the window section, you can see that we have all of these different panel options that we can choose from. Once we select any of these options, they will appear on our workspace and will be ready to use. And we'll talk more about that in just a moment. So we'll make our way back over to the right hand side and if you find that you have any studio panels in here that you don't want to use, then it's really easy to remove these. All we have to do is hover the mouse over any of the studios that you don't want to use and simply drag them away from the panel. Then you can see that we have this little cross appear in the corner and we can go ahead and close this and remove it from our workspace. Then to add a new studio over to our studio panels, we're going to go back up to window and choose any of the studio panels that we want to use. Then that should automatically insert that into the studio panels window. However, if you do find that your studio panel has been detached from the rest of those, then all we have to do is simply drag that back in and just let that snap into place. So making our way over to the left hand side of the screen, you can see that we have all of these tools inside of our toolbar menu and each one of these tools are going to be valuable in their own way when it comes to creating your project. And I'll talk about the tools and what they do in a future tutorial as this tutorial today is focused just on the workspace. However, there is one thing that I do want to mention and that is when you select any of these tools, you can see that we have different options just here at the top and inside of our context menu. And all of these tools up here are going to change depending on the type of tool that you've chosen from the toolbar menu. So if we just look above our context menu bar, you will see that we have our regular menu bar which contains a load of buttons that will become active once we select various tools or have content inside of our canvas. And once again, all of those will be covered in a future tutorial. So I just want to quickly mention that if any of you guys have also purchased the other Affinity applications such as Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer, then you also have access to those programs inside of Affinity Publisher just by selecting any of these icons right here. And what this is going to allow you to do is, for instance, if you have a photo that you've imported inside of Affinity Publisher and you want to edit that and change something, we can then open up Affinity Photo Studio on the top left hand corner and that will take us into Affinity Photo where we can simply remove the background or make any other changes. Then once we go ahead and switch back to Affinity Publisher, that edited image will be updated in real time without the need to save and import that back into Affinity Publisher and that will be the exact same principle if you are working with vector graphics and you want to make changes you can simply go straight into the Affinity Designer Studio and edit your vectors so this is a really powerful feature which I use all of the time and is one of my favorite features inside of Affinity Publisher so definitely try that out if you guys also own Photo and Designer. So back over to the left hand side, we also have another panels menu, which is going to contain all of our pages 
inside of here we can see all of the individual pages that are going to make up our design and above that we can also see our master pages which once again I'll talk about in another tutorial also inside of the pages panel we have the option to create a new page duplicate or delete pages and these are things that you're going to use all of the time when you come to start creating your project then with our pages panel we can also add some more additional studio panels in there just like we have over on the right hand side inside of their own tabs and the way that we would do that is by simply heading back up to the window menu once again select any of these other studio tabs then once again just drag them and let them snap into place over on the left hand side so if you find that you started deleting some of your studios and moving things around and you want it back to how it was when you first opened up Affinity Publisher, then all you have to do is go up to the window menu, go down to studio and just reset studio, then that will revert back to the default before you removed anything. And finally, we have all of these different menus up here on the top menu on the left hand side. However, all of these different options that we have inside of these menus are going to be specific to certain tools that we are using at the time. And I'll cover those also in a future tutorial when we're talking about the tools. So one more thing that I want to quickly mention is that if you guys don't see the color wheel like I have over here on the right hand side and you have the color sliders or boxes but you also want the color wheel then all you have to do is navigate up to the top right hand corner inside of the drop down burger menu and you can simply change your color options inside of here. So there is a very quick overview of the Affinity Publisher workspace. And like I said, I will talk about all of the other tools and what they are used for in upcoming tutorials. However, if you guys are completely new to Affinity Publisher, then go and check out my video and setting up your document for your intended project, which I'll link in the top right hand corner now. So that is it for this video and I will see you in the next one.